authorities so that the perpetrators can be brought to book. According to human rights crusaders, the onset of coronavirus pandemic has been a breeding ground for gender-based violence cases. Meet Beatrice Aziambo, a youth from Mombasa County who is a victim of gender-based violence. Aziambo narrates how one beautiful morning while running errands sent by her mother almost turned her world upside down. It was about Satan or even Chana, if you can elect your lunch hours. So, sa, kwa yonjia, tulukwa only two people. Mwenye alikuwa nyuma yangu, ilikuwa ni mwanaume na mimi. Ndilipokuwa ni mpito wa baba, haka slow down, haka wako nyuma yangu mendo nikombele yake. Tasa sinilikuwa mbele yake, nimepanda kwa yu veranda, tunatembea, haka nishika wakalio. Mie alivo nishika mwanzo nili react, nili shanga, misi mjui, ametoka from now ya nana nishika. Nika anza kumpiga, mangume. Asa ipi haka shtuka, haka smama. Mie nika wana hata nipiga, nika mambia njoo sasa. Asa po kando a distance kidogo ndo upigia kuwa na woku na dobi na watu ingina na chiza gadraf hapo. Ndo ni kanza kuongea kwa nguvu. Vile kijana aliogopa juu aliona atapigwa. Ndo ni kamuita weo dobi, weo kijana akakimbia kaenda. Weo dobi ya kiuliza nini mba ni kamueleza. Lakini weo kijana likuwa asha kimbia ni ikabidi ni rudi nyumbani ni mueleza babangu. Ni livo fuka nyumbani ni kampata babangu ni kamueleza. So ikabidi ni take action. Tukaenda mimi na babangu polisi. Tuka report your case. Tulipa fuka polisi, tuka andiki ya obi namba, tuka mbua if kama tutamuona weo mtu, ibu and report no wa polisi wakudia wa mshike. She says though no legal action has been taken against the perpetrator, no one deserves to be at the pain alone. Zipora Njoki, a community paralegal officer from Stretcher's Youth Organization in Mombasa, says most perpetrators of GBV are close family members. Kesi za nye tume receive hadisa hi, za GBV directly za nye tume deal nazo ni like almost 30 cases. Uyo victim anafaa peleku hospitali, penye atapata a one-stop environment, atajaziwa PRC form yake, P3 form yake, ni watu nye tume training. The organization also works with other institutions, among them Federation of Kenya Women Lawyers, FIDA, who offer psychosocial support and prosecution services. According to Dixon Okongo, an executive director from Stretcher's Youth Organization, youths aged between 18 and 24 years have fallen victims of GBV as they struggle with identity crisis in the community. We have to deal with the people of the world. But we have to deal with the people who have to deal with the people who have to deal with the people who have to deal with the people. So we have to deal with the community, to empower these young girls and young boys to be able to talk to their fellow peers to ensure that we don't have any case of gender-based violence. Mana, tunapo kuwa kimia, zinafanyika pale mashinani na mtu ataumia. Nandio pale kuna visa vya mtu kuuliwa, tunatokea, mtu kubaki na alama ya mba ataishinayo maisha yote, mtu psychologia yake kuwa tortured, lakini ni kwa nitu tapunguza, tukia zungumza na vijana, kuenda kuzungumza na vijana wenzao pale mashinani. The organization held a long day training of youths in Mombasa as champions against GBV in the country. Reporting for Channel 1 News from Mombasa County, I'm Michael Mondega.